All right, so we're going to be identifying the author's purpose for writing a text um, by finding what the topic was, evidence about the topic, and what he was really talking about, um, which will lead you to why he wrote this. Um, so we're going to read um, a text called George Crumb, Inventor. Do your graphic organizer and then do your short response. So, you may love crunchy, salty potato chips, but do you know who first made them? A man named George Crumb did in 1853. He invented them by accident. Crumb was a cook who made delicious French fries. But one day, a man complained. He said the fries were too thick. Crumb made the fries thinner, but the fussy man still wasn't happy. So, Crumb made the fries so thin and crunchy that the man couldn't eat them with his fork. Instead of being angry, the man loved them. Other people who tried Crumb's treat also loved them. A few years later, George Crumb opened his own restaurant. A big basket of potato chips was placed on every table. In 1895, the first potato chip factory was built. Now people could buy potato chips at the store and put them on their own tables. All right, so before we go on, we're going to underline two details that tell why Crumb made the fries thinner. Well, the first reason is because um, one day a man complained. He said the fries were too thick, so he began to make them a little thinner. But he went and he made the fries thinner, but the fussy man still wasn't happy. So that's the other reason. He continued to make them thinner because it was not pleasing the man. So I have two details highlighted about why he made them thinner. So let's go into our graphic organizer. Complete the chart to help you understand the main purpose of the passage. What is the topic of this passage? So after reading this, I know that the topic is how potato chips were invented. Okay. Everything led to the invention of these potato chips. Now, I want you guys to get a little more independent. What does the author tell about the topic? So I've got your sentence starter for you. The author tells what? Okay, why did he make these chips? Use your evidence from the text for this. Okay, we highlighted stuff. I think that might be very beneficial to use here. Okay, what does it tell me about how the potato chips were invented or why were they invented? And lastly, you will do the why did the author write this passage? So you're getting more into the purpose. Um, the author wrote this passage to what did he write this for? What was the point of telling us this? Okay, so go ahead and fill that out on your own. That is really the purpose of this, um, the purpose of why the author wrote this. So that you will fill out um, box two and box three with um, what he tells about the topic and why did he write it. There will be a turn and talk on Schoology. Why does the author tell about French fries? Look in your passage. Why does he tell us about French fries? And lastly, your short response, which we use the race strategy. I'm giving you the answers, um, the sentence starter answers. So please use them okay, exactly how I use them, because that's how a short response should be answered. So you should always start by restating the question. So why did the author write this passage? The author wrote this passage to tell us how potato chips were invented. Okay, I answered the first, I did the restate and the answer. So all that's left in the race strategy is the C and the E, which is to cite evidence and explain. So let's our cite our evidence. And this is stuff that just comes right from the text. In the text, it says, what does it tell me about the invention of potato chips? You can use your text or we filled this out in the graphic organizer as well. This is stuff we might have highlighted. Um, and then lastly, this shows that, what does this show you about um, George Crumb or inventing potato chips? Okay, so this is how your short response should look. If you have any questions, please ask. Um, I want you guys to really get down using the race strategy because it is so big. Um, make sure you answer all parts of the question as well.